Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. The, the film we're going to present to you tonight is a collaboration of the different groups. We had this contest, we divided the, our history into decades and assigned them into groups. So we put all these videos together to make the history. Ellen G. White says, the Seventh-day Adventists have a special work to do in building sanitariums in our world. These are to be his agencies for reaching the people that nothing else will reach. The maiden medical work started in Dunsalan City because the pioneers saw the need to sow the gospel seeds among the Baranaos. The surgeon Dr. Regalado T. Santos, head and consultant, with the dentist Dr. Feliciano Ponce and the nurses Mrs. Ruby Burnett, Luciana Garcensa, Tarsela Torrico. A two-story house was rented to become the Lakeside Clinic. The first floor of the clinic was used as reception and consultation rooms, while the second floor was utilized for rooms and operating room. Time came when the two-room clinic could no longer accommodate the wide influx of patients. Patients just kept coming in even though there were no more rooms available. March 1952, Dr. Gislani and his family arrived in the Indian city with great expectation of the medical work they will undertake. Fatigued from his constant travel to Benzalan, Dr. Gislani decided to start a clinic in downtown Iligan. By mid-July of 1952, the Southern Mission Clinic in Iligan was opened. Miss Padilla, wife of attorney Padilla, became the very first patient. Only God knew the reason why he sent those two influential ladies ahead of the others. They became effective advertisers of the medical clinic. <laughs> Dr. Wenceslao Torres became the fourth medical director to lead the Mindanao Sanitary Hospital. The 60-bed hospital continued to grow. Eventually, the building became too small to accommodate the ever-increasing number of clients. In 1967, to raise funds for another building extension, a fund drive was conducted. This fundraiser was a massive success and the project was set for completion on March 29, 1970.
March 29, 1970, the first phase of the new wing was inaugurated. had its own share of bitter days. In 1987, it needed to retrench some of its workers. These workers filed a case against the hospital, and after several hearings, the decision was in favor of the retrenched workers. Administrators did not lose hope. They brought up the case to the higher court and eventually the decision was reversed. Kay tumod aduna na kita ay balay kang balanan. Tinangalan na maghimo kita og liho. Maghimo kita og institusyon nga mahimong bansayanan sa mga mahimong magbubuhat og mga mahimong mga misyonaryo ni ini. Si Joy project Amen. We can still grow with other Adventist schools. were evident in its facilities and equipment. Equipments were upgraded to improve its quality of care, Mindanao Sanitarium Hospital envisioned to go up to a higher level. After months of grueling tasks, Mindanao Sanitarium Hospital became an ISO certified medical establishment on August 2004. The final moment has come. All your hardships and labor has been paid off. They hereby declare you are now officially ISO 9001-2008 certified. Mr. Delaguan to retire. So 
of the Baton of Leadership was passed to Dr. Edgar Claude Nadal. Workers were given the opportunity to train and specialize their skills. In December 2011, a tragedy struck Sendong. Its waters crept into the city without any warning or mercy. This catastrophe tested the benevolence of our institution. It proved that even in times of adversities, we can always count on the selfless labor of our workers. To reach out to more people, Mindanao Sanitarium Hospital installed an FM radio station. A new set of officers were elected in 2016. Chosen to lead the hospital was Dr. Edgar Claude Nadal. In spite of the many challenges that surmounted, the hospital continued to grow in structure and skills. More services were offered. Workers were given the opportunity to undergo the iShine training to improve their customer satisfaction and delivery. This year, the hospital is celebrating its 65th year of existence. Its 65 years were filled with God's abundant blessing. The hospital is now a modern edifice, an evidence that God is always faithful. And now, the nominees for the Best Actor. reception and consultation rooms. We would like to call Dr. Nadal to give out the trophies for the best actor.
the best actor goes to Joseph Kallet. Moto siya ang gipusil. Asa man si Joseph? Nabuhi man. Sir Joseph Kalliot is a nurse in Unit 4 and 5. sa may nakadaog sa best actress. Ha? Ah? Katong nagpusil? <laughs> The best actress goes to Sherry May Nodalo! Miss Nodalo is a nurse too in unit 4 and 5. Let's give them a round of applause, please. And the best group goes to group number five. Group number five is to be represented by Sir David Rodrigo III. Ah, katong nag-represent ni Sir Delagwan. Yes. Asa na to si Dave? Sawai tak pabur pabur, amuning silingan, amuning grupo. Thank you so much. The next part will be our ceremonial slicing of the cake. We won't end the night without this. So I would like to request Dr. Nadal, our president, together with his beloved wife, Dr. Evette Nadal, and of course, Mom Joanne Amparo. A round of applause, everyone, please. Also, the chairman of the 65th anniversary. Thank you very much to all our workers who supported us in all our activities. There were times when I felt very tired and would intentionally skip Sundays, but then you would keep on texting me or call me and said. Dai, unsay activity karon? And the most dreaded text message that I would be receiving was from Mr. VP of Operation. He would say, "Nga nong walay activity karon." So every Sunday we had activities. We started in February 12, and this is hopefully the last Sunday. Woo! To the working committee, thank you very much for your support. I know I was not wrong for choosing you. You would have, you may have regrets for being chosen, but sorry na lang. Wat namo mahimo ana. Our missed meals, our unlicals are already 
included in the history. So we will face another year more braver, more proud because of the achievements and influence that we have in the community. So, Sir Ness, ang among pinakaamo. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I know everybody tired, so by virtue of the power vested upon me by the Philippine Mission Information Philippine Information Agency, I therefore declare tomorrow a holiday. <laughs> tomorrow. So let's have fun. And to close our program tonight, please help us welcome Sir Willie Hondonero, our VP Finance. Amo just to get part kay grabe ni finances sa muang anniversary nga budget. Thank you so much, Sir Will. And let us all stand as he will offer the closing prayer. Shall we all rise? Our divine, eternal Father God in heaven, our everlasting guide since the establishment of our dear EMCI, you have made us come this far by faith through ups and downs of the 65 years of its existence. Now I, we pray for the endowment of strength, the wisdom, the zeal of faith, the spirit of perseverance, humility, and unity, that our hearts may always overflow with joy and love with one another as we continue to serve you till Jesus come. May the fellowship we have enjoyed this evening celebration be repeated if no longer here on earth, but in your eternal kingdom. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I got this feeling inside my bones. This feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All through my city, all through my home We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally more like the way we rock it So don't stop And under the lights When everything goes Nowhere to hide When I'm getting you close When we move Well you already know So just imagine Nothing I can see but you When you Yes, sa uh, itong uh, nasaksiyan ang mga programang ipaigayon sa ika 65th founding anniversary sa Adventist Medical Center din sa Iligan City. Gigan sa akong namatangan, kauban ako si Larry Pasqua. Dante Dapitan, ako si Al Dagumanano Reporting Mission. Ako mis! Mission accomplished! Mission accomplished!